Hey guys, quick recap. I'm trying to get bronze into a pattern of a squid that's been cut into a knife. I drew up this design in the last video and transferred it to KnifePrint.com's web-based knife drawing program. It's a great program. You can use the free version or upgrade to their pro version using the code GREENBEETLE for a discount. KnifePrint lasered out two blanks of my design in ADCR V2 steel and sent them to me. I first tried melting the bronze into the pattern in my heat treat oven and there were lots of interesting results. But most importantly, there end up being some pretty big gaps. Next, I tried pouring the bronze into the cutout, but I didn't really heat the blank first. I didn't pour very well. I just don't have the experience to do this. Ultimately, epoxy was used to fill the pattern and it turned out great. But I did vow to revisit the project, so that's why we're here today. Many of you said I should braze the bronze into the pattern, but I only have this rinky-dink burn somatic torch, which just isn't going to get the blank hot enough. In fact, it barely will melt the rod here. So an oxyacetylene torch is probably necessary for this. I don't know a lot about it, but that's my guess. The final suggestion you guys had was to get some brass or bronze powder and to melt it into the cutout. I think that's a great idea, so we're going to give it a shot today. First, I'm going to test out the method on this piece of scrap steel that I've drilled different size holes in. The powder is going to be added. Then we'll cover it up and heat it to 1900 degrees. So where'd all the powder go? I see a little bit of it there, but it, did it really come back down that much? I'm not sure that this is going to work. So I ground it away and the news gets worse. This is the bottom. So again, those are the three little holes that filled in nicely from the bottom. There's an air bubble there in the bottom of the big hole, so that's not good. And then here's the top. It didn't even come up all the way through the holes. So, I don't know how much powder this is going to take, but, um... So here we go. We'll try with some more bronze powder and just see if we can get it done with this amount. Mmm, still no dice. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe the furnace cement soaked up some of the powder or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. So in an effort to circumvent the furnace cement, I'm going to use this contraption with some steel foil on the bottom and we'll see if we get a different result. Back in the oven at 1900 degrees. Let's see what we got. That's not a terrible result, but not everything got filled. We're going to go ahead and move forward with the cleaver. I'm going to try to set it up so that I can stir or shake it while the brass is still liquid in the oven and see if we can slosh it around to get rid of some of those voids. Everything's tack welded in place. I am going to seal the bottom with this furnace cement. I know we were trying to get away from that, but I don't think there'll be a lot of brass coming in contact with it. And I really don't want to do a whole lot more welding because I'm just not that good at it. And the likelihood that I can ground out all these welds if I do a lot of it is not very good. So, <laughs> all right, here's the powder. And then we'll get it sort of shaken down and evenly distributed and see what happens.
I'm also going to cook this a little higher at 1950 degrees this time. So when it gets to 1800 degrees, we should be liquid because bronze should liquefy somewhere in the 1750 range. So I'm going to start sort of jiggling it and giving it some go here. And when it gets to 1900 degrees, I'm going to do some more shaking. Exactly. I don't really understand what happened there. Um, don't think the brass powder should have melted down that much. But I'm going to get this cleaned up, get all the scale and oxides and some of the grime off there. And then we'll put some bits of brass from my last attempt, the first video attempt, along with the rest of the bronze powder. I don't have any left. We'll see what happens. So I'm going back to put this in the heat treat oven, and I think I figured something out. <laughs> uh, that's our uh, that's our bronze, and there's like two and a half pounds of it. So it leaked out the bottom, which is sort of discouraging. I'm not going to do a whole lot with that. I'm just going to sort of wrap this all in foil and try to close up these gaps. It should be closed up to the level that we need it to go into, and nothing leaked out of this. I did slosh it around just like the last time to try to get all the bubbles out. It looks okay. Maybe this is going to work. All that high heat really warped the cleaver. It's going to have to be normalized anyway, so while we normalize it, we'll just straighten it out in the vise. So after all is said and done, the sides are ground down, this is what's left. Even the bottom side, that's the top side, but even the bottom side still has bubbles in it, which I think is really hard to believe. We really tried to work it around and it was powder and fine. You know, clearly there's a lot of activity going on when it gets to high heat. So if I did try this again, I would probably just, I would not weld anything at the back. I just put steel foil under here, bunch it up all around the knife, expect that the brass was gonna fill all these other areas and I just have to get the brass out. And then, um, <clears throat> I don't know what I'd do on top. I Maybe I'd weld that thing back on here. Maybe I would just try the furnace cement. I don't know. What do you guys think? No, really, what do you think? There's two choices as I see it. Trying powder again probably isn't one of them. Should I send this thing off to someone with an acetylene torch to braise it? Or should I knock this out and try to pour bronze in on some casting sand with heating the mold and all that stuff? 
I don't know. I'm not sure I have the skill for that. But you guys let me know in the comments section what comes next. What else can I do to make this thing work? See you soon.